Hello, everybody. Welcome back along to the Tundra Farmer. My name is David. As always, you join me on this lovely autumnal day. Looking at the hole that is half full. Underneath here is a bit of blue drain pipe that we were able to get into to fix the issue of this big wet hole that we had here. That just wasn't going anywhere. Turns out we had to replace about four and a half, five meters of pipe that had just been completely squashed. Could well have been my doing here for running machinery over this and the ground just wasn't really set for it properly. Uh, mind you, people have been doing that for quite some years on this uh, stack yard. So, you know, anyway, that's by the by, it's happened and we've been able to fix it. So, we've had a little bit of a dabble with the machine there to try and get this filled in, but it's just a bit tough going. So, we're going to try and use the, the Massey and see how we get on here with the front loader on. When we get this all filled in, we're going to spread a bit more stone around just to really bring up the level of that uh, stack yard. And then we've got a new bit of equipment to go and pick up. The Massey, uh, the 5470 is off the uh the grain trailer we're gonna have to go back onto that because we are going to try to get our uh sunflower harvest finished up later on if we can and that will be epic there's not a great deal we're into the last field now we're not going to be taking it all because some of it is going to be staying exactly where it is for uh wild bird food so that's gonna be pretty exciting to see i can get around here without hitting anything or causing any more issues and then I do all of this without falling into the hole that I dug. That would also be a nice touch. Uh, so, we can't take a full load of this because, as it turns out, it's quite heavy. Uh, this, uh, this Massey doesn't really like that too much. But, needless to say, we'll just slowly, slowly fill this in. And then we should be looking rather good, actually. Uh, and once this is done, like I said, once this is done, we're going to really raise up the level of this. As you can see, it's sunk down quite a little bit in places. And you only realize how far it's gone once you start to strip back some of the stone. So we were able to do that. And we, we've been able to see just the extent of what really lies uh, ahead. So, ooh, we've got quite a heavy load here. And we'll just take it slow with the bucket on the floor. Just more doze it into where it needs to be than anything else, I reckon. That'll work. There you go. Perfect. Excellent stuff. Yeah, otherwise we've been we've been quite successful with this. We finished up that first field of sunflowers there. The results weren't all that bad actually, considering that we didn't really put any input in there. I'm quite impressed with how it went. Uh, and then we've been able to shift the combine over to the second field. Uh, but I did get a call from the dealer this morning that our new bit of kit is ready to go. So we do need to go and uh, collect that. And then we can uh, just park up with for now. We will hopefully get to use it this autumn. Uh, at least that's the plan. And then we'll get to use it for sure back in the spring as well there. So we've got a lot to do. Uh, and hopefully we'll get, we'll, it'll really reap some big rewards for what I have in mind across the farm. Uh, and uh, we'll look forward to showing you what that looks like actually and showing you why we've made that purchase it's the first new bit of equipment that's been purchased for the farm in my tenure uh, as a tenant here in Carmston. so that's uh, that's very exciting Ooh, easy does it there you go so we need about another bucket load at the front there then the rest of it's just gonna get spread around a little bit uh and yeah we should be looking good and hopefully this provides us with a little bit more structure a little bit more flexibility uh, and yeah, that will just allow us to have a drier stack yard that we can use throughout, really. Uh, this bit of here would always get really wet in the winter, and then the winter that we had as well, it just didn't shake that, uh, the moisture, and it just couldn't get rid of it all, and then it turns out that that drain pipe had just been completely plunged in, so perhaps that was why. Uh, but anyway, we're going to do a little bit more shunting around here, back and forth, get this all leveled up. Uh, a little bit worth it. We'll try and run that dozer over a few times as well. I think just to really get it dialed on in there. And we shall see what it looks like. We shall see you all later on. Well, do you know what, folks? It's not perfect, but it's a darn sight better than what it was. Uh, there's a little bit of ran out of stone, really. There's a little bit of a hollow there that we want to get figured out. But we also need to still, at some point, put the fence back in. So we can get that done. Uh, what we might do is take the stone that we've got over there, which is not quite so clean and uh try and get that screen through a little bit we'll shake out some of the dirt where we can but yeah it's ultimately as a whole 
I think it's looking a lot, lot better actually. Uh, and that is going to be a much cleaner, drier hard stand for us there. So I am a big fan. Now, I must go and jump in and go and pick up our new shiny bit of equipment. So we're going to jump on into the 5470 fire here up as well. Uh, uh, it's, yeah, it's not too far to go to the dealers. Uh, really isn't much of a trek. We're going to pick this up and then we're literally just going to park up in the shed. Uh, and come back for that a different day because we do need to go and hopefully finish harvest off for the day so or for the season uh so that'd be cool if we can uh and then yeah we are still a little undecided what we're gonna do with some of our fields if we're gonna put them into a cover crop or not uh and then drill them for some spring drilling uh we've got that one field of winter barley which has come along it's looking very good actually so we'll have to see how the rest of them go and see if it's worthwhile investigating that as an option but for now at least uh we we at least get that field cleared i have decided and i'll show you which area i'm looking at for the field that we're going into which is around about the 17 18 acres i think we're gonna leave best part about six acres down one side uh and that is going to eventually or it's just going to be left for all the the winter uh nesting birds that's going to be a good source of feed for them uh so obviously sunflower seeds are all just seeds birds like to eat seeds everyone's a winner uh, so we're going to put that down in our uh, and, and change the classification of that section of the field for this uh, this year uh, So it gets recognized as like a wild bird feed plot and then we'll put the rest of it into a into Hopefully maybe winter barley But we'll see so that's the plan the cattle or the, the beef stock are getting dangerously, clo dangerously close They need mucking out so we have to cart some muck sometime in our future So we'll have to get that one all sorted out, but just desperate to get this harvest finished so we can move on get it done stop worrying about it and move on to the next step there so that'll be something we have to think about moving forward there as well and uh yeah we shall see but we've been busy it's been a good couple of days there anyway the weather's been fantastic it really has been stunning to the point where i almost thought about if it was worth it or not to uh knock it the like, knock back some of the grass uh and just bail up just to control the speed that's growing up but we thought against it for now mainly as well haven't got enough time to, to fit it all in but we'll we'll see should the, uh, that change anytime in the future uh okay so we are here oh and they've left it right out in the middle as well for me perfect all right and so this might not look not like much to some can you tell what it is yep uh we are just gonna pick this up and we'll lift it up off the floor and have a bit of a better look at it as well i'm very excited about this though Ooh, easy does it all right let's get this all set up all right so this is the evers minimal low disturbance subsoil flat lifter really uh we are using this on our grassland so we will only be using this on our grassland very simple machine very good at what it's uh, designed to do there and perfect for restoring grassland and drainage within grassland reducing compaction that is going to be the key thing these discs at the front uh slip through the soil there provide a bit of an easier path of resistance for the the main legs uh which then go through rip through that lift up that compacted uh, pan and then the rollers behind come and press everything back down again so it's left nice and even this will be used for us uh pr predominantly on all of our pastoral land uh and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reseeding we're going to be stitching grass back into some of this land but we just don't i don't want to plow i want to do as much minimum tillage as possible so the idea being that this replaces the need of that plow it still keeps the grass um a grass cover across the field that allows you to effectively achieve the same job in some instances as the plow would breaking up through that compaction there ripping through it there easing it all out but it just doesn't bring along the same issues in terms of perhaps soil erosion there uh, additional compaction and, uh, that you may get from plowing um where it just bring a different kind of a, a pan there in and you get the wheelings to go with it we don't have a plow so we have to get a contractor in for the cost of that fuel prices are going through the roof which means the contractor's prices are also going through the roof at the moment uh so it this should allow us to be able to pull it on the back of this tractor uh, all the fields have had heavy grazing on them uh, livestock particularly cattle do plunge around a lot when the ground gets wet there so they can cause a lot of compaction on their own 
but this allows us to really alleviate all of that uh, we are going to be looking to get someone in with a direct drill to stitch some grass seeds in over the top of it to really uh, increase the the quality of the grass layer that we have and so these this machine and that reseed in there will go hand in hand so it's gonna be really really interesting for us really looking forward to see how this works in the next couple of days we're going to set that at the old uh, stable field uh, that was once upon a time uh, had a, an equestrian center in there uh, it's showing the signs that the grass doesn't grow very well in places at all oh dear uh, uh, so this is going to be a great opportunity to see if we can really lift up that soil there and break through that compaction particularly where they had their arena uh, we'll reseed it all and we'll see how it looks and we can have another good strong field for us so that is the plan looking forward to seeing how it uh, works out obviously it might take a little bit of time and that's absolutely fine for us to get going but like i said unfortunately today we're not going to get too much of a time to play around with it there uh, i'm hoping that this mini digger in the dumper disappears soon enough so we are going to get this all put away we'll park this up in the shed and then we can look at just trying to uh get on with the harvest there really uh cattle here are looking great they really are uh i think get in front of the wolf there for now that should be fine perfect yeah very simple design very lovely little bit of equipment there very very happy with it, actually and also not too ex expensive that's part of the reasons why we went for it in the end just because of the uh we did a bit of a cost-based analysis on it really and it just made sense for us really we could see hopefully a large large improvement in uh soil, qu uh, soil quality gr therefore grass quality uh and hopefully really if you if you extrapolate that out into uh quality and quantity of milk production and also the beef quality as we finish our beef cattle off there so all very good indeed now what we'll do is i'm just gonna get th this all turned around and then we're gonna go off through the the hay meadow off into the uh the sunflower field we'll have a bit of a walk through that to go and seek the combine get the plan going and get ourselves started with the last of the harvest uh this yard is always a little tight but we'll make it work I just have to mount the slurry lagoon there a bit. Perfect stuff. Okay. I love this little track through here. It's such a nice little area to drive through. Uh, this field here, this is one of the fields I was really looking into. There's a lot of grass coming into it now. It's really starting to grow back through. And if it was a, a little bit taller, you know, we'd be strongly thinking about knocking that back down again. But we'll we'll leave it for now. Uh, it's not going to grow much more. And the quality is certainly not going to be great anyway. So we'll just leave it be. Uh, we are going to come down our little uh, forest path here. And I think... We can probably just leave this tractor here for now. Let's just knock it out of gear. And breaks up. Perfect. We'll go for a walk. Uh, so this is the field that we need to harvest. And as I mentioned, we're going to leave about six or so acres of it. Uh, so what we're going to end up is leaving all the strip along by the wood side here. I think that makes uh, sense uh, for the shelter. We'll probably end up coming up to about here, I think, and going all the way along. So that's going to be the plan. As you can see, all these heads are drooping over now, which and all the seeds are almost falling out there, really. So it's prime time to harvest it. Also, the seeds will just drop to the floor, or they'll just stay in the in the shells there, and birds can pick away at them to the heart's content. And I'm more than fine to leave that for them. What we'll do is just bring the combine right down the middle, split the field up a little bit there, and then we'll clear the rest of the field and get cracking along with it, really. Uh, but yeah, not a, it's an odd-shaped field here, but it's a fairly lengthy field should be pretty good for what we need and uh, yeah hoping to see that these uh that we get the same similar sort of yield off this field as we did for the the field just over the hillside there really quite impressed with that actually i have to work out the calculations for tons to the acre but 
and what that reflects a, a good yield for sunflowers not but i'm happy with how it's going there so far anyway uh the combine just glistening it didn't skip a beat it really didn't we'll try and get this done today so that we can return the header uh or at least get something to come pick it up so we don't get charged for an, ex an extra day's usage but yeah it's uh it's worked out really well for us as well so that's all very good uh all right go on i'll get this isolate switch on i'm gonna let this tick over for a little bit and we'll we'll get cutting through the middle of this field all right so we're kind of cutting across the rows this is the way it's going to work out here i think because of the shape of the field but we're cutting that's the main thing uh we've left a little bit too much there a bit too rich but we'll work our way in there until we figure out what we want what i'm probably going to end up doing as well is just cutting into where the gate is anyway so that'll probably work out just fine and that is going to be where we we leave you for today uh lots happening over the farm here lots to get going with we're finally turning the corn and harvest the yard's looking better and more new machinery arriving as well so really really happy with how we're progressing uh, we'll leave it here for now thank you very much for watching i do hope you have enjoyed i have been david this has been another episode of the tenant farmer if you have enjoyed and yet to do so do give it a thumbs up come with any questions or feedback you may have down below and subscribe to simulation for the nation for more until next time do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you in the next one catch you later